So you finally have decided to play World of Warcraft, to give it a shot and engage in that epic fantasy adventure that everybody has been talking about since 2004. So you download the game, you boot it up, you're given a free character boost, but you say, nah, I don't want to do that since starting at such a high level might be a little overwhelming. So you decide instead to begin your adventure at level 1 as God intended. And what awaits you? Well, honestly, a whole lot of boring as hell content, that's what. Guys, I've been leveling a few new characters in Dragonflight instead of playing my main. I've been playing this Resto Druid, Shadow Priest, and even a Worgen Hunter, and I'm not a furry, by the way. And I just gotta say that after playing these three guys, you know, it's been a while since I've leveled a new character in Modern World of Warcraft, and goodness gracious, I am shocked at just how bad this experience would be as an introduction for new players to this game. And in this video, I want to share my personal opinions on the state of World of Warcraft's early game, and just maybe offer some solutions solutions for future expansions? I don't know. So let's just dive right in and let's start talking about the early game and the new player experience in World of Warcraft and really what it would be like to be a new player playing this game in 2022 starting at level 1. Part 1. Leveling in the Old World. When a new player on a new account first makes a fresh character, they are immediately thrown into a place called Exile's Reach. I'm sure everybody here knows what I'm talking about. It's an extremely linear tutorial island that introduces the player to the basics of how to play World of Warcraft. Now, I like Exile's Reach. I think it's a great addition to the game for new players and teaching them how to play the game. Having this be the required feature to unlock the normal starting zones like Duratar, Teldrassil, and so on, I think that's a great idea for new players too. However, despite the positives of Exile's Reach, once the player is introduced into the greater world of Warcraft, that less linear world, things tend to spiral downwards really fast. For one thing, a new player is immediately forced to play through Battle for Azeroth, which, although it does have some decent leveling, it really has absolutely nothing to do with the current expansion. At the time of this video's release, that would be Dragonflight. The new player is thrown into this story of the Horde versus the Alliance, so Sylvanas, the Zandalari Empire, Jaina, and her business with the Kul Tirans. And then once the new player, in theory, hits level 60 going through these zones, they just kind of have to abandon this entire storyline and surrender now to the current content, going to the Dragon Isles, you know, the Primal Incarnates, and all that good stuff. So this is a massive problem because it creates a large amount of inconsistency when it comes to the game's storytelling. And when it comes to the other expansions like Wrath, TBC, Cataclysm, and others, these are just completely abandoned and ignored, at least again, if you're a new player. Why should a new player, for example, even go to Pandaria unless they're max level and they decide to go farm mounts and achievements on the continent? Although it has some flaws, having players play through all the previous expansions one by one, at least it created somewhat of a consistent story of one series of events leading into the next kinda it really wasn't perfect though this is a very complex problem i almost want to make the argument that after the initial exiles reach a new player should kind of just be dropped into the latest expansion like Dragonflight on the Dragon Isles. Now, how exactly that would work? Well, here's my thoughts. Maybe they could create a whole custom one time, or you can do it again like Exile's Reach, but it's a one-time quest line that would take new players across Azeroth in some manner, which would award them a ton of experience points. So maybe like Khadgar, for example, is giving you, the player, a tour of the events of Azeroth, telling you the story of everything so far. You'll be taken to Outland, and you'll fight some baddies here and there. Then you'll go to Northrend and fight some Scourge, demons in the Broken Isles, just expansion by expansion. You get some cool sets of gear, and then ultimately you're just dropped in the Dragonflight Zeppelin or boat, and you're told to continue onward after going through this big giant quest chain that would be updated with every expansion. Expansion. And at the very end of it, you would also meet Chromie, who would tell them that if they want to ever adventure through those previous expansions that they just got to see, they would just have to find her in Orgrimmar or Stormwind. That might be a bit of work, but I do think it would do way better than the current system. But that's just my opinion. This sort of idea would at least give the new player to the game an understanding of the previous expansions, so that when they do go to make their second character, and they want to check out that stuff that Chromie was talking 
talking about at the end of that quest line they can have a moment when they go up and approach her of saying hmm what expansion do i want to go through oh that that draenor one with the orcs thing that looked really cool i want to level through that and see what that story was about they can talk to chromie they can then go to draenor blah 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 i think it'd be a good way of maybe leveling very very fast i, I don't know what do you guys think it's a really complex problem i admit even like what i just proposed the quest line would be very very fast so maybe it is just a one-time thing like yeah it's gonna get your character to level 60 and incredibly freaking fast but you wouldn't have that option on other characters so you can't just like you know get a character to 60 in like one hour by playing through this quest line it's a one-time thing i don't know what do you guys think i'm really really open to some feedback here and i think blizzard is too but that leads us to part two of this video and that is fix the boring and fix the useless there's a few things to discuss when leveling that are just insanely boring or just completely useless in the game. Two things that really need to be addressed, really. First and foremost, let's talk about the boring. When a new player is leveling a character in BFA, they are going to eventually realize that dungeon spamming, it's really one of the fastest ways to level in the expansion. Just do the same dungeon over and over and over again with pretty much a guaranteed level each and every time. Same with doing battlegrounds over and over and over. This gets really repetitive, and for that reason it can get very very boring very very fast this applies to veteran players too those of us that are leveling alts and we all know that you know let's be real players are going to naturally gravitate towards the path of least resistance so this dungeon spamming and battleground spamming route it kind of just becomes the norm for a lot of players and it's not very fun now to be fair a new player might not necessarily end up doing this you know this loop maybe instead choosing to explore the open world but that raises another issue that being this choice that they might make like i'm gonna go explore the world it can lead to the fact that new players will quickly realize how the open world unless you're in the modern expansion like the dragon isles the open world is completely dead and void of other players it's pretty rare that you see them especially if you're leveling a second time through a previous expansion like tbc wrath or whatever the game just feels as dead as asmongold's hairline it is what it is boys now to fix these two immediate issues i would suggest that perhaps blizzard should either buff dungeons to make them more complex take longer and offer more of a challenge and mental engagement or perhaps just add a bit more systems to the early game to make it more engaging now in regards to buffing dungeons perhaps blizzard could do something similar to mythics where there's a weekly rotation of changes that occur in lower level dungeons for people leveling up maybe some weeks the mobs are buffed and have more health some weeks they do a ton more damage forcing players to use crowd control more or maybe even silly stuff like gnome infestation where when a mob dies half a dozen or so tiny robot gnomes fall out of them and the players need to cc them down really fast now of course these extreme dungeons or challenge dungeons would be optional you could always do the normal dungeons if you wanted but these kind of subpar mythic dungeons could offer greater rewards while leveling it would also prepare new players for the mythic system early by giving them a small small taste of it and it would just be a lot more fun now in regards to leveling in the open world i would say that the level up process it really needs to reflect the end game a little bit more with how it works for myself i think it would be really cool if there was a faction specifically for new players and people who level that new characters could meet early on like the explorers league you know those guys in iron forge in the museum the whole purpose of this faction is you guessed it just explore and make discoveries so as a new player a new character is questing in Lake Shire or even on Draenor, they're gaining reputation with these guys and it's speeding up their leveling process. Maybe the Explorers League have a tabard that you can unlock, for example, once you become friendly or honored. It increases your experience gained on your character by 10%. They have mount speed increase buffs you can get, toys that teleport you around the world faster or make you run faster for a bit, whatever. There's a lot that could be done here to speed up the leveling process and just make it more fun. Even having like, you know, perks to profess I'm not sure. You can even make it so that whenever a player finds a chest or kills a rare in the open world, they would get a token or something that could be redeemed at the Explorers League hub that could be exchanged for rewards or better rewards. Look, talents were a great step in this direction with Dragonflight, as having a new point to look forward to each level helps people, you know, stay interested in leveling. So adding more reasons to hit 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60, that'd be great. Maybe even the return of class quests? I mean, I don't know. I also want to quickly point out professions too because i mentioned them a second ago 
endgame professions in Dragonflight are a lot of fun. And it's a huge shame that we did not see changes to the profession system in the early levels of WoW. In Classic, professions are extremely helpful early on, especially if you keep them up to date with your character's level. The gear you can make is always awesome. It's always a bonus, typically. The potions, bandages, enchants, it's worthwhile to do this stuff. It actually helps you. But in the modern game, professions are completely useless in the early game. And there is absolutely zero reason to pick them up. Just wait for endgame, then do your profession stuff. So making relevant lower level professions would be a massive game changer for helping people level faster and driving more engagement. I've even made the suggestion in the past on this channel where player made gear, it has an automatic like 2% experience gain from all sources buff applied automatically to them. Enchanters can enchant experience gain to certain pieces of gear. Alchemists can make experience gain potions and so on. Even just gathering professions could have a skill tree that unlocks more experience gained when harvesting resources. Just like the skill trees at endgame now that are unlockable at Dragonflight. That way you could just level purely as a person who goes around and picks flowers and mine nodes. I mean, why not? So in conclusion, the early game of World of Warcraft, it needs a lot of work. Like it's in a really bad spot right now. At least I think so leveling these three characters. It's pretty dull. And again, going back to the beginning of this video, I really fear for a new player coming to this game. Like this is the introduction. It's just, I don't know. Like there's just a lot that Blizzard could potentially do to make it more engaging. That way players that come to this game and give it a chance, they don't just quit after maybe like an hour of checking it out because they think the game is too linear. It's not engaging. It's just not fun. So I'm very curious to see the comments on this video, what you guys would leave in terms of suggestions, feedback, if you agree with me, even if you disagree with me, I'd be curious to see why and what are your thoughts? I mean, I just want to hear it. So if you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to watch more of our content, check out this video on your screen right now that I'm recommending. It's just me talking about my impressions of Dragonflight so far, my experiences getting to level 70 and what that was like. So if you want to hear that and want to hear me rant about how Dragonflight has been a positive change for World of Warcraft, click on the video. But either way, guys, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all with my next project. And maybe we'll feature some comments from this video in our next one. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.